I had to go fast because uh, the uh, I was super far behind in the run. I had to go fast. That's kind of a bad spot. I'd say that, that doesn't count as a good setup. Bad position, yeah, let's Just practice. That's a good position, I'd say. And then, so by a Um, I might be able to count. What was that load? What was that load though? That load was not long enough. 
or it took too long rather to load the the section. That was the entire reason why that wasn't a gold. Unless I I like took a long time to. Uh, I can't so many gold. Okay, that might have been a gold section. Dude, that was a perfect final section. Cool. is so unforgiving. Like you have to get that body slam first try to really have a chance at record now. And I'm getting it the fourth try.
That's a really bad position to jump from. I'm not counting that as a good spot. That's way too far away. Yeah, apparently this position sucks as well. Alright, let's just see the four seconds. This is when my hair has started to be bad, so can I even do this? Let's see. Oh, this is actually the 603, right? This is the 603 run. And I got warp skip first. I got full count the setup and the body slam, right? Because I succeeded, even though the setup was kind of not so great. And I'm so successful with this part. Did, did I write body slam? God dang it. Did I stick to write it? Did I write it? Uh, what if I missed it? Victor and what? Moritz's stronghold of evil. This is where we wrong the right. And this is the end of the video, basically. And then we have part two. <laughs> six, total of six. Uh, something weird. So far we have eight attempts from the first three hours. Okay. And a few of those were practices. No, just run attempts. Another one. I guess I didn't feel like practicing it or something. <laughs> and then I practiced it anyways.
So basically, fifty three to to what minute? Dude, dude, that antagony is way better than I originally thought. Like, that should have been a 725-8 antagony, but I failed the final boss. What? No. <laughs> that should have been a 725. Dude. Oh my gosh. Epic view. Wow. Stupid, idiotic, and fail had to cost me the gold segment. Victor and of course. Of evil. I made a mistake in that. Oh. I thought it was going to set up, but maybe it wasn't. Like, let's see here. I'd say it was. I just missed the jump. That doesn't count as an attempt.
Thank you. I figured out a way to consistently twist the camera around. This is the run where I got the 238 gold segment dimension skip. This is the, uh, this run has the best dimension skip that I've ever done, apparently. <laughs> which is bad, which is kind of, because that dimension skip actually had a bit of a mistake that cost like over a fifth, over a half a second. And it was still the best it ever got. That's hello. Um, it's kind of an iffy setup. Eh, it's really hard to tell. It's really hard to tell if that's good or not. What do I do after that? Do I try again? Ugh, I don't know whether to count that. I think that's kind of bad. I mean, I got it second try. I think I'm still going to count it because, like, both attempts were close. So I count it as a setup. That one's very similar, very similar to the last one. Do I count it or not? Wait, why was I rushing it right there anyways? Like, I wasn't that far behind it. I was actually right on pace with my, my PB at that point. Like, I should have just taken it a bit more slowly. Like, why did I rush it? I don't know whether to count it. That was so funny. That was a good position. That was so funny. Better. 
Huh. So that was this run right here, because I thought, like... Maybe this is one of the gold options. Let's see. Close? But not quite. I, did I check this one already? I, I believe I did. Victor and Moritz's stronghold of evil. Like, let me just look and see. It was at 148. It was at 148. It was at 148. It was at 148. I must have checked it. And it was not quite a goal. This, it may have been like a 121.1 or something. Dang it. Now I'm going back to this. Does that count? Yeah. Cool. 
Another fail, what? Really? Yeah. Amazingly, that's one of only three successful finishes in this run. I don't get how that's even possible. Okay, it's possible because, like, the other six hour stream only had two. So, <laughs> don't be too surprised. I say that's good. Set up. And then I get body slam. This is the 602, by the way. This was all this is also my current gold segment. <laughs> and it was a six uh, This is my current gold segment. <laughs> but maybe because of the super slide, but then I messed up the movement after the super slide, so but still was a gold. So Epic time wasted the split. Okay. What the? This 602 is sad. Because of this right here. That by itself would have cost so long. Like, how many seconds would be lost just from that? And then, of course, I had to miss. This up, but it really didn't matter. Like the run had already died at that point, probably. Waste of six of three and six. Dude. Yeah, that's when the game crashed. And, um. Stop feeling that's good. Okay, you didn't feel that's good. And you got a 203 hub one. Let's see how you do now. Hmm, did you fail this again? Yep, you did. Good job. Reset run. Nope. No, not skip. You got not skip. Let's see how you do on the rest of it. You got a 202. Very good. Oh, and then what happened there? I was an idiot. Good job for being an idiot. I got through hub one. Let's see what the time was. 204. Now what are we doing? Hmm. I think I messed something up, but two three thirty-three. Still a run to that you would continue on. Oh, what? I missed the mention skip. Nice. Also, I think I missed a bunch of stuff besides that. Uh, 
I got a 202 hub one. Let's see how I do from here. I messed a ton of stuff up, which is why I reset right there. Come on. We're on a run. Oh, no, we're not. Dang it, I messed up this. Because I kept, kept missing that. <sighs> Get another warp skip. Actually, no. My life would actually be easier if I didn't get another one because then I wanted to write down stuff. Good job, you didn't get a warp skip attack. We only have 15 minutes left. Is this the run? Uh, well, there's 13 minutes left in this video. <laughs> But this right here is, I'm assuming this is the 1343. Did I really stream for like three minutes after that? Finish. This is the 1343. <laughs> this is actually, now that I think about it, my second best run ever. <laughs> I'm assuming everything is a success, right? Oh, actually, no. No, it's not. Watch this. I failed. Setup failed. So it doesn't count. None of the stuff afterwards counts. Because I failed the setup. Nice job. Luckily, I recovered it really well. And it only lost like two seconds or maybe three seconds. <laughs> nah, it was more like two seconds because like 121... So my final time for that segment was, it was like a mid to high 123, or, so basically I lost maybe a little over two seconds from, from that, from not getting the setup, which is a really good thing, like usually I lose more time from that. Oh, this was sad. It could have been fine. So what did I do after the run was only number? I did that. So really, it was a, it was us thirteen forty two probably because of late splits and whatnot. Um. But anyways, man, come. On. Um, so now there's two more minutes left in the video. What did I do? I think I was just like, oh, stream's done, and then I waited for people to say bye. And do oh, actually, I think there was one person. <laughs> but anyways, Now we got, we're done. Finally. We're done with the stupid numbers. Well, not done. We're done with the finding the numbers. Now we just have to put them in Excel. We have five and how many minutes? 41 minutes. We have five, 10, 15. 20, 25, 29, 15, 16. So we have 29, we have 16. We have seven, four. How does that compare to the test that I had done the previous day? So it turns out the setup went down, the setup success rate went down, and so did the body slam success rate, but the finish success rate went up slightly.
And then overall success rate? All three went down. Epic. That's epic. It's actually crazy, like, there was one, it all came down to one s single speed run from that stream, six hour long stream, where I missed like three or four setup attempts, and if I hadn't had that, then the numbers would be completely different, because it's, yeah, that's what you get with a small sample size. So I don't know how accurate all those results even are, because it's a small sample size. The ones, the tests are much more reliable data, because they way, have way more numbers attempts. Was it even worth all that time just to collect the data from the smaller streams? Or the streams with smaller numbers of attempts? I mean, it's kind of interesting to see the success rate from just doing runs. Like, so basically these three are streams where, and I count the success rate of every warp skip attempt in those streams, whereas these two are, I'm just practicing warp skip. In practice, this is what it looks like, and in runs, this is what it looks like. And it varies widely because of the small sample size. So, well, actually, the setup was actually pretty consistently going down. That's hilarious. The setup success rate was going down, but very, very, very slowly from only two percentage points down total. And then the body slam success rate went down, and then it went, it stayed the same. White, what? What? It really stayed the same. 7 divided by 16. 4 divided by 9. So, if you do rounding, if you round it to 3, it actually got slightly better. But because of rounding, it looks like it's the same. And then the body slam success rate went down. Well, it went from, yeah, it went way down. Like the overall success rate for body slams went down. Well, of course it did, you idiot. It went from 0.63 to 0.44. Of course it went down. And then we have finish success rate is 0.4 then 0.75, which is crazy. Like, but it was a really small sample size again. Only four. We only had four attempts to count from, whereas these other ones have 24 and 30. So of course, it's gonna. I got super lucky and got three of four. But if I had kept going, I probably would have gotten less. And then here is only seven body slams were successful, and then only got four successful. So anyways, overall, it went up and then went back down to 0.14. So the amount of times, it seems pretty consistent, like, in every single test I've done, the overall success rate where I do everything that I want to do in a run for warp skip. The overall success rate for that is only anywhere in between 0.11 and 0.19%. Like basically from one, from like one to two times per one, either one out of 10 or two out of 10 attempts. And you know how many attempts I do in runs that are six hours long? 14. So in the six hour long stream, 
I did 29, but that's because I did a lot of practice attempts in there as well. So it would have been more like 15 attempts, probably, if I hadn't done all those practice attempts. <laughs> so that one stream was two hours. Miguel's calling it a two hour stream. In this stream, there's also some differences here. This stream, I did not know about my my how I was gonna do the things. I did not know at the time I did that stream. I'll probably mention the streams as just an interesting fact, but it won't be like the metric by which I, well, it kind of needs to be the metric by which I determine how I'm doing, how well I'm doing though, because that's all that matters. Like attempts, real attempts are what matter most, not the tests. The tests are just for the purpose of increasing my rates in, in attempts. So. It,
Write script. I marked down attempts where I actually got it without a body slam. It turns out one, two, three, four, five. In this second test stream here, not streams, second, second test run, test video, I actually got the trick without a body slam five times out of 85. So of the 30 body slams here, five of them were not body slams, they were actually just me landing on the end. <laughs> it's kind of insane, actually. Um, man, like, so basically, if I had a perfect warp skip with my current strats, except that, like, basically two things happen. I get... I get land on the end with no body slam, and then the second thing is that I save a bit of load time with the alternate strategy that that requires you to sometimes have to turn your camera around while you're slide jumping, which I which is why I don't usually do it. And, or maybe either I get that movement perfect, or I I somehow flip the camera because I figured out that sometimes if you stand in a certain location, the camera will just automatically flip around for you. But anyways, the point is, if I save a bit of time on the loading screen, and I do the no body slam thing, I wonder what the time could be. Because it would save a lot of time. It, I bet I could get a 119 warp skip with those things. It's almost been an hour. Oh, why don't we just... Hmm. <laughs> there is a game. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I recently hit 500 subscribers. And I could make a special video. So the two videos I uploaded this morning, 
how are they doing so far? After like five hours. The insane pace video is getting more views than the 1343 world record fail. <laughs> nice. You get to watch fun stuff. So basically I got that very good nut skip right there. That was a really good nut skip. So that resulted in a gold segment for hub one. Um, and then, uh, just a decent hub two, hub two here, just kind of average, well not average, but, you know, 240, I'd rather have a 239 or 238, but 240 is also pretty good. That was actually a pretty fast set up there that usually that's where I lose time but where else did I lose time I don't know I don't know where I lost time in that, that. and then warp skip I got a gold segment so let's see what I did in, in warp skip gold segment how fast did I go that was pretty fast didn't even turn the camera all the way and then I jumped. Success there. <laughs> I didn't do the, the loading trick thingy. I don't even know if it saves time. I think it should save time though because you don't have to wait as long for it to load. And then I get a super slide which is which might actually be the reason why it's a gold segment. And then I already showed you what happened, right? It was bad. I missed the jump off the ant that killed the run. Like, even if I had not died after that point, I think the run would have been dead because that. I don't know how much time it loses, but it's. You, you would think it loses a ton of time because you, you have to go all the way around where you, you would normally go. You have to go all the way around. And. Man, that probably costs a lot of time. <laughs> and then nobody cares about this one. Nice. 